Good morning. Today is the 23rd. Is today Friday? Yeah. December 23rd. And we're going to start with a daily reflection on the Old Testament. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Habakkuk 2.14 The knowledge of God shall continue to cover the earth as the gospel of Jesus Christ is preached to the world's inhabitants. Now and in the coming millennial day, all Israel will gather to the ends of nations and find peace, strength, and salvation in the kingdom of God. <laughs> Temples are beginning to dot the earth and will increase during the millennium when there will be even more holy places in which priesthood ordinances essential to salvation and eternal life can be performed in uninterrupted calm. We are encouraged to seek deeply and broadly to gain knowledge of both heavenly and earthly things. As we grow in our testimony of earth of eternal truth and then share it with others, we do our part to fill the earth with the knowledge of God. All right, so today is rock. So we've got one, two, three, four, five scriptures we're going to look at today about how Jesus Christ is our rock. So the first one is 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 2. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. Basic, you know, basic, um, nothing to, anyways, 22 verses 2 through 3, Second Samuel chapter 22 verses 2 through 3, and he said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, the God of my rock in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior, thou savest me from violence. Now, this one has a little bit more meat. Um, and talking about how he's a foundation, a tower, a deliverer, a savior, protection. Um, when we're in a world where we feel unsafe, when we feel attacked, when we feel, I don't know, scared, alone. You know, where would we like to be? We'd like to be in a place with thick, strong, high walls with someone looking out for us. And that is our Savior, Jesus Christ. And then we've got Psalms 118 verses 22 through 23. And um, 118, 22, and 23. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. 22 and 23. Yeah. Um, you know, that, that person that they thought wasn't good enough to be a savior, that wasn't magnificent enough, wasn't glorious enough, has now become the chief cornerstone. You know, has become... The thing that holds it all together, even though they refused it. Um, and then we've got Isaiah chapter 28, verse 16. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. This is like what we talked about the other day about testing the Lord, trying him. Taking him at his word and putting it to the test. He he has been tried. He has been tested. And he is sure. He is the sure foundation. If you have a testimony that is built on him. And it is tangible. It is palpable. It is, it is a sure foundation. You know, there's no other way to say it. They're saying it pretty good here. And then the last one is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20. Yes. Uh, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. 
So the apostles are good and having a testimony of them is great, but the Savior is the chief cornerstone. Build your life around him. Build your testimony around him. I, there's there's no better way to say it. I mean, that's that's basically all I've got for today. So I will leave you with a prayer from a diary of prayer. Um, and this one is DM Dolbin. Come to me, beloved, babe of Bethlehem. Lay aside thy scepter and thy diadem. Come to me, beloved, light and healing bring. Hide my sin and sorrow underneath thy wing. Bid all fear and doubting from my soul depart as I feel the beating of thy human heart. Hide me from the pity of the seraphim, they so pure and spotless, I so stained with sin. Hide me from St. Michael with his flaming sword, thou canst understand me, O my human Lord. Only thee, beloved, only thee I seek, Thou the man Christ Jesus, strengthen in flesh made weak. That one's really nice. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. When did that happen? Seriously. Okay, so that was rock. And tomorrow we do branch. So it's going to be Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 and 2. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 5. And Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 15. So it's going to be short tomorrow, but that's what we got. I love you all. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay warm. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.